Hi everyone, it's Grace from Esri. In this video, we will follow the Symbolize Map Layers tutorial in ArcGIS Pro. You'll learn how to symbolize point, line, and polygon features, customize symbols, and visualize population density with a heat map. You can follow the full written instructions for this tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation. Let's get started. I've opened ArcGIS Pro and signed into my ArcGIS Online account. We'll start by opening the Symbolize Map Layers project package. Make sure the portal is set to ArcGIS Online and search for Symbolize Map Layers. Open the one with the authoritative badge. The project opens with a map view of New Zealand. On the Map tab, click Bookmarks and go to the Christchurch Urban Area Bookmark. First, let's reset the panes for mapping so that only the contents and catalog panes are open. The urban area symbol isn't great because it covers up the base map. An outline of the area would be better. In the contents pane, click the urban area layer to select it and click the feature layer tab. Click symbology to open the symbology pane and click the green polygon symbol. Make sure the gallery tab is selected. Click the All Styles drop-down arrow and click Project Styles. Search for Extent Transparent and select the Extent Transparent Gray symbol. This is a good start, but we want to create the effect of a shaded boundary with a fully transparent interior. Many symbols are composites of simpler elements. You can symbolize these elements separately. Click the Properties tab and click the Structure tab. Under Layer Effects for the Fill symbol, let's add a Donut effect. You can see a preview of the effect at the bottom of the pane. Click the Layers tab. Select the Fill symbol, change the width of the donut effect to 6 points, and click Apply. In the Contents pane, turn on the Bus Stops and Bus Routes layers. To focus on the symbology, we'll switch to a more neutral base map. On the Map tab, click Base Map and select the light gray canvas. In the Contents pane, Right-click the light gray reference layer and click Remove. Next, let's symbolize the bus stops. Click the bus stops layer to select it. In the Symbology pane, click the symbol and click the Gallery tab. Search for bus and select the smallest bus station symbol. Click the Properties tab and then the Symbol tab. Click the Color drop-down arrow and select Cabernet. Change the size to 8 points and click Apply. Let's take a closer look at the symbol preview. We changed the bus icon color, but we want to change the outline as well. Click the Layers tab and click the white circle symbol to select it. Click the Outline Color drop-down arrow and select Cabernet. Now the icon and outline are the same color. Click Apply to update the symbol in the map. At the current scale, the symbols clutter the map. Let's set a visibility range so the symbols only display when the map is zoomed in. Click the Feature Layer tab and change the Out Beyond to 1 to 24,000. The symbols disappear from the map since the scale is smaller than 1 to 24,000. Right-click the Bus Stops layer and click Zoom to make visible. On the Map tab, return to the previous extent. The bus routes are currently drawn with a single symbol. Let's symbolize them by Route Type instead. Right-click the Bus Routes layer and open its Attribute table. Right-click the Type field and click Statistics. A chart is created showing the four types of bus routes. We'll symbolize each of them with a different color. Close the Chart, Attribute Table, and Chart Properties pane. In the Symbology pane, click the Primary Symbology drop-down arrow and click Unique Values. For the Field 1 drop-down, select Type. In the lower half of the pane, symbols are assigned to the unique values in the Type field. There is a gray symbol representing all other values, but we don't need this for this layer because there are no other values besides these four. Click More and uncheck Show All Other Values. Click More again and click Format Symbols. In the Gallery tab, search for Minor Road and select the Minor Road symbol with the black outline. Return to the Primary Symbology page. Click the Color Scheme drop-down arrow and click Show Names. Since we have four root types, select the Dark 2 scheme with four classes. Let's symbolize the fairy roots with a conventional fairy symbol and change the color to dark navy. 
The bus route symbology can be further improved with symbol layer drawing. We'll remove the road casings at the intersections and specify which features in a layer draw on top of each other. Return to the primary symbology page, click the symbol layer drawing tab, and enable symbol layer drawing. Drag Metro Line to the top of the drawing order and Ferry to the bottom. Metro Line features now draw on top of other bus routes, which means that a Metro Line is never visually interrupted by another route. In the Symbology pane, notice that three of the routes are set to join. This setting removes road casings where features of the same route type intersect. You'll change the setting to Join and Merge to remove road casings at intersections between different route types as well. Click the drop-down arrow next to City Connector and click Join and Merge. Repeat for Suburban Link. Zoom the map to a larger scale for a better look and return to the Christchurch Urban Area bookmark. Lastly, let's symbolize the population in the Christchurch Urban Area to visualize the relationship between bus routes and population. Turn on the population layer. A dense layer of points covers the urban area. On the map, click a population point. It shows the object ID, the mesh block, which is the New Zealand equivalent of a census block, and the population. The points are impossible to visually interpret, so let's use a heat map instead. Change the primary symbology to heat map. A heat map appears, but it represents the density of points, whereas we want it to represent their population values. Change the weight field to POP 2013. Change the method to dynamic so it updates as you zoom in and out of the map, and change the radius to 15 to increase the variation. In the contents pane, drag the population layer under the bus routes. Click the feature layer tab and set the layer transparency to 65. At large scales, the heat map is too local and no longer reveals meaningful patterns. Set the in beyond to 1 to 50,000. Notice that the bus routes correspond well to the densely populated areas. For more detailed steps, follow the full written tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation, linked in the description for this video.